Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exploit. This is Dr. Ayanshala Ogundele. Mars to Stay Mission, a one way astronauts take it to Mars for permanent stay and human colony establishment. The focus points of my presentation are as follows Mars to Stay Mission, Mars to Stay Mission Plants, Mars to Stay Mission Highlights, and Mars to Stay Mission Explorers. For centuries, Mars, the future of humankind, has had a special effect on humans based on its intrigues, properties, and resources estimated toward about billions of dollars. Research findings show that Mars is far more attractive as an outpost and human settlement colony for athletes than the moon. Presently, the Mars enthusiast, government, investors, and private space companies are racing to launch humans to Mars. But before going to Mars, there is a proposition that without astronauts, humans should firstly build robots, send them to the moon, construct an international lunar base, and learn from the technology developed, as this will enable Mars base to be robotically built quickly based on the experience gathered. The Mars to Stay mission, a mission to send astronauts as space travelers to Mars on a one-way non-return mission trip is aimed at reducing cost, permanent mass settlement, and to create a first human colony on another planet. The mission, which entails the astronauts sent to Mars for the first time to stay and recycle unused emergency return vehicles into settlement construction as soon as the habitability of Mars becomes evident to the initial pioneers, will be a big step for mankind. For several years, various investors, people, companies and institutions such as former astronaut Bruce Adrian, George Albert, Bruce McGenzie, Mars One and Florida Institute of Technology have been advocating for the Mars to Stay mission and colonize Mars before the year 2040. On July 8, 2014, Bruce Adrian stated that the first human beings to land on Mars should not come back to Earth. They should be the beginning of a build-up of a colony or settlement. I call it a permanence. According to the Bush Adrian plan, the first set of women to travel to Mars under the Mars to Stay mission will be six people per team. And after the first landing, the follow-up missions will increase the number of people on Mars to 30, enough to create a Martian settlement. Based on the research findings that show that there are abundant natural resources on the Madrian surface that could sustain a robust, mature, and industrialized human settlement, a permanent Madrian settlement is said to be the most effective way to ensure that humanity becomes a space-faring and multi-planet species. Mars to Stay Mission Mars to Stay Mission is a proposed mission in which astronauts launched into Mars for the first time should plan to stay permanently. Unused emergency return vehicles will be recycled into settlement construction as soon as the habitability of Mars becomes evident to the initial pioneers. Mars to stay missions are advocated both to reduce cost and to ensure permanent settlement of Mars. One of the notable Mars to stay advocates is former Apollo astronaut Bruce Adrian. The picture is shows artist concept of a human Mars mission. The aim of Mars to Stay mission is to create first human colony on another planet. It is believed that initially any Mathian colony will be partially independent for centuries and as a result Mars to Stay astronauts will initially be dependent on Earth. As time progresses, they will be producing their materials using in situ resources. Illustration of Rendez Force and Interplanetary Stage and Lander Stage as they come together over Mars is shown in this picture. Mars to Stay Mission Associated Risk Research findings show that reduction in zero gravity are exodus and will affect Mars to Stay astronauts. Zero gravity also presents challenges. 
astronauts who have spent extensive time in space are susceptible to the effect of cancer. Illustration of a pressurized rover on Mars with breathable air is shown in this picture. Mars to stay mission plans. The first humans to travel to Mars will typically be in six member teams. And after the first Mars to stay crew initially landing, subsequent missions will raise the number of persons on Mars to 30, thereby beginning a Martian settlement. An artist's rendition of the Hope Orbital around Mars is shown in this picture. Mars to stay mission plan. Since the Marian service offers some of the natural resources and elements necessary to sustain a robust, mature, industrialized human settlement, unlike, for example, the moon, a permanent Marian settlement is thought to be the most effective way to ensure that humanity becomes a space-faring and multi-planet species. Illustration of Mars Express in orbit around the red planet is shown in this picture. The mission theme timeline. At age 30, an offer to help certain mass is extended to select pioneers. Between age 30 to 35, training and social conditioning for long duration isolation and time delay communications is slated for this range. Between age 35 and 65, development of sheltered underground living spaces. And at age 65, an offer will be given to the astronauts to return to Earth or return on Mars and is given to first generation settlers. The picture here shows illustration of NASA's Mars Opportunity Rover, the second of the two Mars exploration rovers to land on the Red Planet. Mars to stay mission highlights the Martian settlers. Research findings show that based on the broad variety of resources available on Mars, the long-term survival of Martian settlers is much more feasible than lunar settlers. Since Mars affords neither an ozone zid nor magnetospheric protection, robots will prepare a basic modular base inside near-surface lava tubes and ice caves for the human settlers. Illustration of living offward is shown in this picture. The Mars Contingent a volunteer signing up for a one-way mission to Mars will do so with a full understanding that they will not return to Earth. Mars exploration will proceed for a long time on the basis of Earthbound journeys only. The first human contingent will consist of a crew of four, ideally distributed between two two-man spacecraft for mission redundancy. Artists concept of a Mars habitat is shown in this picture. Over time, humans on Mars will increase with follow-up missions. Several subsurface biospheres will be created until there were about more than 150 individuals in the viable gene pool. Genetic engineering will further contribute to the health and longevity of settlers. Illustration of the escapade spacecraft in orbit around Mars is shown in this picture. Mars to stay mission explorers. It is expected that initial explorers will leave equipment in orbit and at landing zones. This will make the subsequent missions to become easier and safer to undertake, with the likelihood of backup equipment being present if accidents in transit or landing occur. As suggested by Robert Subrin in his book Mass Direct, large subsurface pressured habitats will be the first step toward human settlement. The structures can be built as Stroman style atria, a mountain size or underground. Artist concept of Nozomi showing the spacecraft in orbit around the red planet shown in this picture. Mass hybrid construction. During and after the initial phase of hybrid construction, hard plastic radiation and abrasion resistant geodesic domes could be deployed on the surface for eventual habitation and crop growth. NASA industry will begin using indigenous resources such as the manufacture of plastics, ceramics and glass could be easily achieved. Artist concept of a future mass mission 
So astronauts near a landing on the red planet is shown in this picture. Mars terraforming. The longer term work of terraforming Mars requires an initial phase of global warming to release atmosphere from the methane regolith and to create a water cycle. Illustration of astronauts on the Mars performing various activities is shown in this picture. Three methods of global warming are described as sobering, who suggest they are best deployed in tandem. And the methods are orbital mirrors to heat the surface, factories on the ground to pump hydrocarbons into the atmosphere, and the shedding of bacteria that can metabolize water, nitrogen, and carbon to produce ammonia and methane. While the work of terraforming mass is ongoing, robust settlement of mass will continue during the mass to stay in shape. An artist's depiction of women working on mass is shown in this picture. For more information, contact Actonate for Export. You've been watching and listening to the presentation on Mars to Stay mission, a one-way astronauts to get to Mars for permanent stay and human colony establishment. Presented by Dr. Ayeshwala Ogundele with the focus points, Mars to Stay mission, Mars to Stay mission plans, Mars to Stay mission highlights, and Mars to Stay mission explorers. Thank you.